Welcome to Bob's Training and Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bobstraining.org. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to email us or scan the WeChat if you if you use WeChat. Uh, apologize, um, I'm having a little bit of cold, so my voice is a little bit low or maybe more sexy this way. Just kidding. All right, let's get to it. So today we're going to talk about this problem called escape a large maze. So essentially, this is marketed as a hard problem and a decode. So essentially, the problem is giving you a 1 million by 1 million grade. Well, it's kind of huge, 10 to the power of 6. And then give a source, give a target, and then give a list of blocked um, like indices of all coordinates of, uh, of the blocked squares. To return true or false whether you can reach from source to target so those are two examples and then give you a bunch of notes um so i'll talk about these notes or hints later but when i first look at this problem i'm like okay why why the heck this problem is a hard because we already solved those kind of problems many many times using bfs breath first search and then um yeah so this is my thought process i'll share with you guys what i did was I just do a brute force uh, BFS, very simple, you know, traverse four directions. There's multiple ways to implement this, but here's essentially what I did. And then first on this line, instead of using a uh, hash set, I, I literally directly allocated an array of one million by one million. So, um, so you can see basically that actually requires one terabyte. Did I do it right? I think, I think it's right. Uh, one terabyte of, uh, memory so that definitely won't work however using this method you can see how lead code allocated their memory so for this problem you can see you can use binary search type of thing so allocate this and then reduce 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 and then you'll see they actually alloc allocate around 300 megabytes memory i don't know if they mark it on the problem or not just fun fact so i immediately i quickly change this to a set so essentially what i do is normally uh instead of i just use a basically the x with a dot plus y as the key for the hash set having a queue and then keep putting stuff in the queue oh by the way if you are not familiar with how bfs works check my previous videos there's a lot of bfs bfs examples you should be very very familiar you should write this code in about like 10 minutes um so you put you basically put in the queue mark as visited uh just Quick reminder of what's the difference between offer and add of the queue. Offer is basically sometimes through exception if the size is full, uh, depending on different implementation. It doesn't really matter, minor details. So you get X and Y. So um, if you find the target, you just directly return or else you, you do a BFS through the four directions. Um, whether you should explore or not, this should explore is very standard, whether it's out of bound or it's already been visited or it's, it says it's blocked. And then this is the index block to hash set to set. It literally just put it, this using X plus Y into the set. Very simple stuff. Well, after I fixing the, uh, instead of using the um, two dimensional array, so I get a uh, time limit exceed exception, which is, you know, kind of expected that that's why it's a hard problem. Now I'm like, okay, let's pay more attention to these notes. So now if you look at the notes, you'd be like, okay, the block size is actually very small. It's only like 200 maximum compared to 1 million times 1, one million squares. Like literally like a, what do you call it? A needle in the hay stack type of situation, or it's a small fish in a big pond. And then uh, this is just standard, 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 source not equal target, okay, standard. So now, after this, I, what I immediately thought is actually using kind of like a sorting algorithm. So essentially what I do is, if I want to basically sort all the, so I can, I can show you here. So basically the problem is giving you a start node and then, uh, and then a target. Is there any way we can traverse through from source to a target? So what I was thinking is if I can sort the block, like let's say sort the block from small to large, like if all the blocks are in this range, and then if I'm traversing to here already because it's already larger than this block, then I can directly say, okay, there's a way. So basically cut the loop earlier. But this way is there's a very, very simple edge case in a way that, okay, if I only put one node here, 
So even though your majority of the block is here, but as long as I have one, you have to traverse through. So it doesn't really help. And also it's very, very painful to implement because this is only from small to start. What happens if target is here? So then you have to sort the other way around. Not gonna happen. So um, basically I'm stuck. And then I, look at, I start looking at the hints. So the hint says, okay, if we become stuck, there's either a loop around the source or around the target. Second hint is if there's a loop around say, the source, what is the maximum number of squares it can have? So now the problem becomes kind of obvious. So let's say, because I only have 200 blocks, so is there a way, the only way that I cannot reach from the source to target is if there's a circle, basically around the, not even a circle, sorry, I should say a loop uh, around the source, or there's a loop around the target so that, you know, whatever you do BFS, you cannot go out. or but there's an edge case is like, okay, if the source and the target are actually both in the loop. So like this case, right? So they can reach, you just need to consider this case. So now the problem actually becomes, okay, just let's just do two BFS. So one BFS is around the source. And then I, what I only need to do is basically, so assume there's 200 blocks, um, what is the maximum, what I think is actually area. So what is the maximum number, maximum area this two block can have. So as long as I exceed this area, that means I can basically go to the, go to the target. And the same thing here. So if given these 200 blocks starting from the target, as long as, you know, there's a given the maximum like area loop you can build, as long as I exceed that number, that means there's a path I can go to the source. However, when you code this, just be very careful, like this edge case, because whenever S and T are in the same loop, so that means basically you have, when, when you do the BFS, if you check, okay, I'm already reaching my target, that means, okay, it's a yes. So you should exit early, because I did hit the edge case. I, I forgot about this case. So that said, um, so, okay, that said, let's compare, like what is the, the problem becomes, what is the, num what is the maximum area? Like giving you a 200 blocks what you can have so you can have things like this basically this is like a 10 10 so that is a, sorry if it's a 200 this is this is 100 this is 100 so the area is 10,000 if it is this so think about this way right so it's like you have one the first block and then you have two three four you have like until 199 why 199 why why not 20 you can use 20 it doesn't matter it's just a rough estimate so because uh because you know the first one is like a zero, so it doesn't really exist there. So use this formula to compute this is more like the area. So in practice, you can use 2000, uh, 20, 20,000, or you can use 22,000 or 30,000. You can still pass because it's just a rough estimate. So you, it can only do you good if you increase this threshold, right? And then figure three is very simple. If you just do it like this, the area is only 200. And this is basically the circle. You can do a simple like math calculation, like to pi r equals to the length, and then you can calculate the math. Just ask your junior school teacher to, to teach you how to calculate this math, uh, the area. <coughs> Doesn't really matter either. So that basically give us this second solution. So if we, um, oh, I forgot to talk about the time complexity of the first one. The time complexity of the first one is literally like one million times one million because you have to traverse every, every single node to find a path in the worst case. And the space co component is the same because you have visited a set. And for this one, so think about first, let's talk about the time complexity. The time com complexity in this case is basically in terms of the block size. So depending on how many blocks you have, you only need to traverse through this number of blocks twice. And the complexity is the same because you have to put these blocks into the set. <coughs> Excuse me. So now this is basically the code. First do the standard check, and then here's the, the part. Is I implement this function called is loop around point. So giving your source and target. So is there any any loop near the source? Um, yeah, same thing. Use a BFS, build a queue, build an index. However, here's the thing about if you already traversed number of counts, like basically number of blocks you covered is larger than the maximal area. You can say, okay, sorry, cannot do that. 
or if you already hit a target like this is the edge case um, i was talking about basically this edge case here in the same loop so you said return false which means is there any loop nope no loop no loop no loop and then four directions so remember you you should only count plus plus here because you don't want to double count if you count it here it will be wrong because you only count the nodes you actually explored and then that's it so if there's still anything left that means there's a there's a loop yes because you exited this queue earlier there's a loop those two functions are usually the same and then that's it uh i link i link the two like descriptions in the code discussion because the other way to do this other than like area the other way is basically do based on the step so the step size is basically 200 so think about the step as not the length not the length of the stuff it's actually how many bfs you do it's like you put this into the queue as you put four blocks into the queue four directions that's only considered one step and then you, the next iteration of the basically the dfs so it's basically the steps are here so you do 200 here the maximum block size that should also pass all right that's about it so let me know leave any comments or anything um write any comments on the blog as well if you have any questions um all right see you guys next time